now let us discuss about system programs a modern computer consists of a lot of system programs we have two types of programs first one is application program second one is system program application program means the program which is developed by the user so if we develop a program then the corresponding program is called as application program whereas system program the name itself specifies the meaning we can develop the system program in order to use system that is the computer in effective manner the most commonly used system program is operating system and we have some other system programs like shell interpreter all those are system programs system program is very very important why because system program provides an environment for development and execution of a program so by using system program only we can develop and execute a program it provides an environment to develop and execute a program system programs are very very important why because system programs can communicates can interact with hardware devices such as cpu io devices and memory let us assume that uh, yeah we are saving some program whenever we save the program then what will happen is operating system saves our program in hard disk so that means operating system is interacting with hardware so system program is interacting with the hardware so we can't interact with the hardware we can't make your instruction to the hardware to save my program to compile my program so it is very very difficult for a user to interact with hardware whereas system program takes the responsibility of interacting with hardware mainly we have six types of system programs are available all these system programs are available with operating system installation so once an operating system is installed then most of these system programs are by default they are available so the first one is file management system program second one is status information system program third one is file modification system program fourth one is programming language support fifth one is program loading and execution system program and the last one is communication system program so all these six are most commonly used system programs so first let us see about file management system programs so file management system programs allows us to create a file to delete a file to copy a file to move the content from one file to another file uh, next uh, we can list all the files and we can dump the file so likewise we can perform several operations with the help of the file management system program and the second one is status information system program status information system program mainly provides information about the system such as what is system date system time and available memory space that is nothing but available disk space hard disk space so how much available hard disk space is there and it also shows shows the number of users who are logged in so how many programs they are executed 
all that user's information will also be displayed the logged in user's information so how many files they have created how much memory space they used so all that information will be displayed if you take windows in windows we have reg edit in windows we have reg edit command so it is an explorer which displays status of the computer such as it will displays all that information such as uh, uh, available disk space and number of users logged in that users logged in information such as system date and time all that information will be displayed by typing registry edit command in uh, run command in windows operating system if you press control r then we will get run command okay then we will get a window so in run window if we type rez edit then we will get the status information and the third one is file modification system programs we have several text editors like notepad word document which are useful in order to create the file as well as in order to modify the contents of the file and we have various commands in order to search for a content in the file and in order to do the transformations in linux we have a command called grep command so grep command allows us to search for a string in the file as well as by using grep command we can do the transformations like upper case characters are converted to lower case if we have a string we can replace that string with some other string so these two are the major advantages of file modification so with the help of text editors we can create and modify the content of the file with the help of several commands like uh, grep command we can search for the content in the file as well as we can do the transformations and the next one is programming language support system program so these system programs allows us to create various programs using various programming languages like c c++ java python we have various programming languages are there so with the help of these system programs we can develop the programs using the programming languages so for that several system programs are used like uh, here we can use uh, compilers compilers assemblers interpreters so these are the most commonly used system programs while working with any programming language so we know that compiler uh, compiles the program that means it translates high level language program into the mission code likewise assembler converts assembly level language into the mission code next interpreter means it executes the program line by line so various system programs such as compilers assemblers and interpreters are used while working with the programming languages and the next one is here some of the system programs are by default available with operating system installation and some of the system programs are need to be installed separately suppose if we want to use turbo c then we have to explicitly install turbo c compiler suppose if we want to use jdk java development kit then we must explicitly install jdk okay so some of the system programs are by default available whereas some of the system programs are explicitly need to be installed and the next one is program loading and execution we know that whenever we save a program then the corresponding program will be stored in hard disk the compilation will also be done in hard disk but at the time of execution that program will be transferred from hard disk into the main memory so that will be taken care by the system program called operating system so operating system loads the program from hard disk into the main memory so for that operating system uses a system program called loader loader loads the program from hard disk into the main memory 
so once the loading is done then it will creates dot exe file exe stands for executable file whenever executable file is created then we can say that that program is ready for execution so now cpu can executes the program why because that program resides in main memory here for loading we use a system program called loader so by default it is available with the operating system installation and the next one is communication a process can communicate with another process an user can communicate with another user a system can communicate with another system so for that purpose initially a virtual connection need to be established between the source and destination virtual connection need to be established between the user and user or person to person process to process or system to system and then one process can communicates with another process by email or we have ftp protocol which is useful in order to transfer file from one user to another user or they can uh, send the messages by remote login that is nothing but with the help of telnet also one user can send messages to another user okay so likewise the communication will be done so these are the various types of system programs